what's up everybody welcome to yrr help and this is my new series on uh, grpc implementation in java and in this entire series we're going to talk about all these things and at first i'm going to show you how to do environment setup for grpc using maven and uh, next thing i'm going to show you how to define grpc services uh, using protocol buffers and in case if you're not familiar with protocol buffs or any other grpc terminologies i have provided link in the description for official grpc site so you can cover basics up there and you can come back and watch this video and next what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to create um, sorry we're going to generate java stubs for the newly created proto buffs uh, using a maven plugin and finally we are going to implement our grpc uh, services in java and at last what we are going to do is that we are going to create um, sorry we are going to test our grpc services using a tool called bloom rpc so this is uh, pretty much our agenda for this series uh, so first let me start with environment setup um, in eclipse so this is my Eclipse. First thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to file and I'm going to create a new Maven project. And here I'm going to click on create a simple project. And I'm going to click on next. Now uh, here you can give a group ID as you wish. Uh, I'm going to say um, wire or help. Now uh, artifact ID I'm going to give as um, grpc demo and a project name i'm going to give as let's say grpc demo so that's pretty much all you need and i'm going to click on finish now uh, we have a basic maven project right here now the next thing we have to do is that we have to click on this uh, palm.xml and uh, we have to add a bunch of uh, dependencies for uh, grpc now good thing is that uh, I have uh, provided link in the description to download uh, entire uh, project artifacts so you don't have to worry about uh, adding um, all the dependencies and uh, plugins which I'm going to do now. So you can just download uh, the project and you can just replace pom.xml um, with the downloaded pom.xml. So I'm going to quickly copy paste few stuff in my pom.xml. So all right, now I have added a few dependencies and when I click on dependencies tab here and you can see that I have added uh, four dependencies. One is uh, protobuf, uh, netty, protobufs and some stuff like that. So those are the four dependencies you need and if you see the version I'm using is uh, 1.15. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to quickly add a Maven plugin and this maven plugin is uh, basically used to convert your uh, proto buffs to grpc java stubs so i'm going to add that uh, maven plugin in my pom.xml so all right uh, as you can see i have added a plugin and before that i have uh, specified a default goal here so that you don't have to worry about uh, specifying goal each and every time and um, the plugin which we are using right here is a <coughs> proto c jar maven plugin uh, the basic idea behind this plugin is that as i said it's uh, used to convert your proto buffs to java stubs so and uh, the thing which we have to notice here is that so there are two two things uh, input directories and uh, output targets now uh, so input directory is uh, location where you place your uh, proto buff files so here in my case it's a source main resources so i like to keep my proto files in my resource directory and and as you can see in output targets my java files will be moved to source main um, java so which is my um, java directory here so uh, when i place my proto file in resource directory it will um, take that proto file and it will convert to java stubs and it will place in my java directories though so that's the idea behind this uh, plugin now uh, next thing what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on my project and uh, i'm going to say maven update project so it might it might take some time now uh, once everything is done uh, you can click on uh, pom.xml and you can click on 
uh, run as maven build so just to make sure that uh, everything is fine and as i said you don't have to specify any goals so by default it's going to execute um, some goals so just click on run and as you can see the build is successful so that's pretty much the basic setup which you need for uh, gRPC implementation in Java. And in case if you are using any other IDE like NetBeans or IntelliJ, the steps are going to be same. So you don't have to worry. In my next video, I'm going to focus on uh, defining protobufs and I'm going to define my gRPC services and uh, request and response messages. So thanks for viewing guys. Don't forget to subscribe us and stay tuned.